Hi there, mate. Welcome to Cat's Love, and today I'm going back to my cat breed profile series to talk about the Australian Mist. But before you Google what this fascinating cat breed is, just know that you will be missing some valuable information on this cat breed. So I'm just going to go ahead and Google it for you, and then I'm going to take a deep dive on what this cat breed is. Google says that the Australian Mist is a breed of cat developed in Australia. No way, Google. That is some valuable information right there. I had no idea the Australian mist originated in Australia. Let's see. No, I thought it originated in Montenegro. Thank you, Google, for that valuable information. Anyway, this cat breed is actually a cross between the Abyssinian, which you can go check that cat breed profile out right there. It's my first ever cat breed profile. The Burmese, which is getting its cat breed profile later this year in November. And a normal Australian tabby, which was most likely a domestic short hair. Alright, now I'm going to answer some questions that I found on Google about the Australian mist. Is the Australian mist actually rare? Well, yeah, they're quite the rare breed if you're not in Australia. Since the cat originated in Australia, you have a more you have a more of a likelihood to find the Australian mist in Australia than you would outside of Australia. But outside of Australia, yes, the Australian mist is pretty rare. Anyway, to even get the Australian mist out of Australia, it will be a very costly thing to do, and you need an export permit. So it would be rare to get and find one. Anyway, next question, how much does the Australian mist cost? Well, it depends where you're at. If you're outside of Australia, the Australian mist has a common price of around $800 to $1,200, which is expensive. The common price in Australia is 1000 to 1500 AUD or Australian dollar. Yeah, the Australian mist, which originates in Australia, costs more in Australia. That's weird. All right, now I'm going to tell you some facts about the Australian mist. Fun fact, the Australian mist was actually referred to as the spotted mist, but that had to change because when a marbled variation of the cat breed was born, they ended up just including the spotted version and the marbled version into one cat breed, which you know as the Australian mist. Did you know that this cat breed was actually developed in 1975? And the last fact, surprisingly, this cat breed is actually recognized by TISA, or the International Cat Association. Alright, to take care of your Australian mist grooming-wise, you don't really have to do much, but you should regularly brush their coat with a soft, bristled brush at least once a week to keep their coat shiny. If you're planning on getting an Australian mist, then make sure you have a home that's spacious and comfortable. In fact, these cats were developed to be indoor medium-sized cat breeds just perfect fit for your home. This cat breed most definitely isn't suited for Australia's upside down raining spiders weather. And the animals that roam Australia are a major threat to the cat breed. And the reason why is because they are known to be very friendly with the animals and just nature in general. So when encountering a massive Australian Ooga Booga Crikey Spider Wombat Kangaroo, they will probably go up to it and be like, <gasps> Twins. These cats are very social and friendly, so if you have any other pets or children, then this cat is perfect for you. If you live in a cramped apartment, then you're not fit for the Australian mist since they're most comfortable in spacious environments. These cats also need exercise to stay happy, so cat toys, uh, playing with them, uh, occasional walks outside is perfect for your Australian mist's routine. And the only common health problem in the Australian mist is obesity since they're an indoor cat and they rely on you to feed them. So don't feed them large portions of food at a time. They could get obese. Overall, these cats are a low maintenance cat breed and they hardly require any grooming requirements at all. Please do exercise and have a spacious living conditions for max happiness in your Australian mist. All right, now time for the segment where I talk about fur colors and coat patterns. The types of colors you can find on the Australian mist are brown, blue, chocolate, lilac, and gold. The coat patterns that you can regularly find on the Australian mist is spotted and marbled. Want to watch more videos or just want some more information about the Australian mist? Here's some videos that I personally recommend. Australian Mist 101 by Kitten Life. Australian Mist or Spotted Mist Pros and Cons by Fauna Friend. Cats 101 Australian Mist by Kitten's Corner. 
All right, here's some facts about the Australian mist cat breed as a whole. The common weight of the Australian mist is 7 to 12 pounds for males and 9 to 15 pounds for females. This is probably the first time in cats of history to where the female variant of this cat breed actually weighs more than the male. So females are big little. Anyway, they're a short haired cat and their lifespan is 12 to 16 years. Their temperament is smart, loyal, playful, friendly, affectionate, and they're known to be the calm, indoor spoiled cats who would probably sit back and watch two kangaroos and a wombat fight to the death in the safety of its own home. Anyway, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for next week because I'll be talking about how cats can be obsessed with corn. Also, you know how sometimes you're scrolling through social media and you see a video of a cat absolutely chowing down on corn on the cob? I'll be talking about them too. Anyway, if you enjoy the cat breed profile series, stay tuned because in two weeks, or at the start of May, I'll be talking about the Balinese. Also, this is the final cat breed that starts with the letter A, which means alphabetically, next cat breed profile, the cat breed will alphabetically start with B. So this is the final cat in the A section. Anyway, thank you for watching. This has been Cat's Love. See you next episode. Crikey, there's a massive spider on my wall. Go get him, Cupcake. Thanks, Cupcake.